So there are some things you need to look out for and consider when working with augmented matrices. Uh, the first thing that you need to consider, first thing is that equations can be written to fit the form. So for instance, if I were giving you an equation y equals 2x plus 3, and I asked you, and I also had um, uh, 3x plus 4y equals 10, and I asked you to use matrices to solve this system, we would need to rewrite the first equation so it fits this form. This, by the way, is called standard form. In order to create matrices, we have to write the equations in standard form. So I would need to do something to this first equation uh, so that it fits standard form. So let's see here. I got y equals 2x plus 3. Well, in standard form, the x term comes first, then the y term, and then you have an equals, and then you have a number, or what we call a constant. So in order to change this so it fits this form, I'm simply going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And doing that, now I get negative 2x plus y equals 3. One other thing you need to consider, and that is if an x or y term doesn't have a numeric multiplier, we assume 1. You notice here in this equation, y does not have a numeric multiplier. So this, though, we do know is negative 2x plus 1y, we assume 1 equals 3. So now I do have, so if I were to rewrite this equation again in standard form, this then now becomes negative 2x plus 1y equals 3. And now I can write that as a matrix. Now, the second thing that I want you to consider when we're doing this, don't include variables in matrices. So when I'm writing this matrix, make sure that X's and Y's do not appear inside of it. So this is actually going to be 3, 4, 10, and negative 2, 1 and 3. That will be our augmented matrix. Okay, So you can write an equation to fit the form. Don't include variables in matrices. If an x or y term doesn't have a numeric multiplier, we assume 1. And the other and last thing is make sure you include or attach the sign to the left of the term to the number in the matrix. So you notice here that this was a negative 2x, negative 2x. Make sure that that negative is part of the number that you put into the matrix, okay? Now, suppose you were given an example where I had 7y equals 84, and I had 6x plus 2y equals 10. Well, I'm going to rewrite this so it fits the form. You notice what don't I have in terms of uh, a term in this first equation? Well, I don't have an x term, so I'm going to fill one in. I'm going to go 0x plus 7y equals 84. So if I had to rewrite this as a matrix then, this would simply become 0, 7, 84, and 6, 2, 10. 